today's video, we want to look at how to recode one variable to another variable in SPSS. And I have an example data set that I'm going to use for this. And I'll use the age, raw age of participants to do this. Now, I have this age in their raw state. And I want to do a cross tabulation of males or gender against age. But the age in its raw state like this wouldn't give me a nice presentation. For instance, if I come to cross tabs and I choose age against gender and I perform a simple test, this is what I get. Now, this age range against gender is not presentable when I put it in Word document because SDSS is presenting it in its raw state, which is not useful to me. And so I need to quickly put this age into age range or age category so that the presentation of the cross tabulation will be much more appreciable. So to do that, I'll come to transform over here. Then I'll click on transform and choose record into different variables. All right. Now, as soon as this pops up, I will then choose the particular variable that I want to record into another variable. So I'll choose age. Then I'll use this arrow to bring it here. I could as well decide to double click it and it will come here. It will do the same thing. So I have age and the question mark here shows that what do you want to record it into? So I want to give it a particular name. So I'll give it age range. Now I'll use underscore to write the name. Take note that the name of the variables in SPSS does not take a space. So you don't want to do something like this. But rather you could use underscore to um, name it. Then for the label, you can put the name as you want to so the age range of the participant. Age range will do. Then I'll click change. So you can see that it is telling me that I'm changing age into age range. We are not done. We have to now code the variables themselves. So we'll go to this particular button here, old and new values. When we click it, it brings this up. Now we can decide to choose the values themselves and give it a new value. But we will use the range since we want to code it into an age range. And here, what I'm going to say or what I'm going to do is that I want to tell SPSS that for a particular age range of this to that, give it a particular number. So I could say that from 0 through to 20, give it a value of 1. So from 0 through to 20, give it a value of 1. Then I'll click Add. All right. Then I could say that from the age range of 21 through to 40, give it an, an, a value of 2. Then I'll add it here. I'll come back to this section. Then I'll say that from 41 to, let's say, 50, give it a value of 3. Then I'll add it just like that. So I'll do the same for... Then I'll choose continue. Now, once I'm done coding it, I could then choose OK. Now, when I come to my data set, I will see that SPSS has created a new variable over here called age range. But this does not still make sense because it is 252525. This still doesn't make sense. So I have to come to the variable view. Remember that SPSS has two particular views the data view where the raw data is presented to you and then the variable view where you can actually give the names and also give the characteristics of the data that you have and rightly SPSS has given me the data as numeric I'll cover data type in another video for us to know which data type are you supposed to choose in order to perform your inferential statistics here is where you need to take note at the value section I'm going to give it values or I'm going to record them again into the age range that I actually want all right, so over here, remember the ones and the twos that you give to the various age range. Remember, I said that for one, SPSS will give it 0 to 20 years. I'll type it right here. So I'll type it here, 0 to 20 years. Then I will add. Then for two, I told SPSS to make it 21 up to 40 years. You have to remember that. Then I will add it. Then for three, I told SPSS to do it 41 to 50 years. I will type that one there too. Then I will also add. 
as soon as I click OK, then my data has now been coded. Now look at this place. Now age range is now created properly. So if you come back to the data very well, the particular age or the raw age is over here and the age range is over there. So if you take age 22, 22 is rightly in 21 to 40. If you take age 68, 68 is rightly in 61 to 100 years. 32 is what? In between 21 to 40 years. 65 is 61 to 100 years. So you can see that using this particular simple step, SPSS has been able to what? put it into age ranges. And now I can perform a beautiful cross tabulation over here using my age range instead of age, choosing the age range. And now you can see that SPSS gives me a very beautiful age range. So for females, those between 0 to 20 years are 3. Those between 21 to 40 years are 90. And this makes your data more presentable. And when I choose the chi-square, it even does a very simple chi-square showing that there is no statistically significant difference between um, gender and then age range, looking at the p-value, which is 0.8712. So um, this brings us to the end of this video. You have learned how to recode a variable into another variable.